Welcome back to The Sims 4 Growing Together. Today we have a small budget to prepare for the invasion of Twinfants, also known as Twin Infants. <laughs> so this is our house, which is currently not painted. It doesn't have any columns. Uh, half the windows are not really on the house yet, uh, but I don't really have money for that stuff because we got up. The, it's these babies' birthday. Ash and Willow are ready to grow up. We need to, I reckon, first of all, make the nursery bigger. Because I think 3x3 three three is too small. Thankfully, that's not that expensive to do. I suppose... Oh, uh, hmm. I really should also just check off all these items. I, <laughs> I haven't used any of this stuff yet, so it's all still marked as new. Okay, right. I guess we should... How much are the cribs? I want these ones. The Bland Co. 150 bucks. Actually, that's not bad, because each of these is 150 bucks. Wait, what happens if I delete the bassinet with the baby in it? Oh, okay. Fair enough, you can't. <laughs> Thought I'd try. All right, well, let's just get these in the room because we'll sell these after they age up. Although I guess we could probably keep them, to be honest, because we're going to have more babies. So <laughs> that's for sure. All right, so who, who's this on this side? Willow. All right. These have to go really high in the wall because I think the mobile is there. It's kind of annoying. Thankfully, move objects to the rescue. Hopefully that doesn't break anything. We'll see. <laughs> okay, Willow can have that color. No, I don't like that. Probably just a pastel like blue and pink. Uh, and then we'll get another one over here. Oh. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. All right, we're gonna have to make this archway smaller, which is okay, because I'm pretty sure that was a lot of money at 230 bucks. Let's get the $50 one that's like this big, because then it can tuck in the corner. It's still open to the parents' room, which I want. I'm gonna move our little book reading thing. Uh, I'm gonna move that window, put it on that side, because then the books can go in the middle of the room there. Then the changing table will go on this side. Then I need the diaper pail. I could just use any bin, but I'm gonna just use the new one, because why not? Because that means when we change the infants on here, their diapers will automatically go in the bin instead of on the floor. Now, I know that's not a good spot, but once we, we need, I need to age them up first. <laughs> Let me put this in here for now, because we need to get them out of the way so we can properly organize the room. Also, I don't really know why I've swapped the position of these from top and bottom, but whatever. Uh, cool. All right, well, we'll figure the rest of that out in a minute. Uh, is there anything else I actually want for the infant? Oh, I mean the play mat. Where, what did I do with the play mat? It's over here. So this, I suppose, should probably be in this room too. And we should probably get another one, which I don't really have room for. Again, we'll figure that out in a second. We'll, we'll age them up and then we'll we'll reposition stuff. Okay, we got $1,700 left. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll buy another bed. <laughs> Just so we have another bed. That definitely looks like a kid's bed. Probably not ideal. We could how much wait, how much is this? A thousand dollars? Because if this is our guest room, we definitely need a double bed. So let's maybe go cheaper. 750, 620, 560 futon. Oh, these beds are even cheaper. So the, the our bed that we have is actually only 400. We could get the used futon for 290. Yeah, energy four. It's uncomfortable, but you know, it gets the job done. Heck yeah. All right. I'll tuck it in the corner, at least for now. So this is kind of supposed to be a craftsman home, so I'm gonna use this thing. <laughs> It's a really bad room. Hey, where'd my door go? <laughs> it glitched out, there we go. Now, a lot of people are suggesting to move the kitchen to this side, uh, which I'm not really sure why, but we can do that. Like, I don't know if that really helps. I, I mean, I don't think it's any worse, but sure. <laughs> now, the, actually, the other suggestion was we should have a cheap computer because then both Rai and Koji can do what they need because Koji needs to do like the writing of columns and Rai needs to, or, and just writing seal, I think as well. And Rai needs to write jokes, which you can also do on the computer. So that's probably not a bad idea. $250 desk. Do we want a whole desk? That seems like a waste of space. Maybe just a small $300. This is $275, but no. Okay. 255? Maybe I get this one, because this looks like uh, we could probably reuse this later on. You know what? Why don't we just put it in the guest room? I'm going to have to put this suitcase somewhere else. There's not enough room in the bedroom now. I mean, they don't really need to access it, do they? I'll just put it in the corner. Oh, we have just enough money to buy a cheap computer. Heck yeah, let's go. All right, let's fix the roof as well, which the roof is now much uglier. Because it's, oh wait, actually, no, hang on, sorry. Because it's just one big piece like that. Like, I mean, this house, this house needs a big makeover, but we need to make big money for that. All right, so, wow, you were tired. All right, crying baby, no, no. Let's go, baby cat, age up. And then Koji, where are you? You're just there. Wow, you're super tired. Okay, you are both exhausted. All right, baby cat, age up. All right, so we're going to age up both babies. Don't worry about that being outside. We'll put that inside in just a second. Once we sell these crit of oh, bassinets, or I guess maybe I'll just keep them in my inventory. I'm not actually sure what I'm gonna do with it. All right, here goes. Who's this again? I don't know which baby that is. Oh, they're already both aged up down here. <laughs> here goes Willow. All right, let's randomize. We've got calm. That's good. The less likely to cry or become angry and don't grow tired of activities as easily as other infants. However, less likely to explore the world on their own. You know what? I don't care. That sounds good to me. Heck yeah. 
Oh God, Koji is sick. That's not good. Oh, smile milestone. Let's go. <laughs> We've already got the smile. All right, let's leave the baby on the floor. Ash is sunny. Okay, bursting with smiles and giggles and enjoying engaging with other Sims. They do require more social attention though. All right, not too shabby actually. I'm pretty happy with that. And they got the smile milestone as well. All right, so I could either just sell these or just keep them. I'm not really sure what to do. Maybe I'll get rid of this one because it was free. Actually, they were both free. You know what, let's just get rid of both of them because we'll get free ones again when we have new babies. Yeah, because now I just have more money. All right, so this is gonna go, I guess I'm thinking against that wall there. So we could have a play mat there and maybe, oof, uh, or, okay, infants, you might want to move from there. Does this actually fit? It's kind of overlapping. I don't know if this will actually work. Hopefully it does. How much room do we need for this, by the way? Because I was going to put these here. I have noted that Sims can kind of walk through these playmats, so they don't seem to be that big of a deal if they're in the way. That didn't really help. I guess I could put this one here. I think that'll be fine. Doesn't look great, though, to be honest, but let's go with it. Ten dollars. Little things to put on the wall. Do they have other variations? Oh, no, just different colors. I was just thinking if there's anything cheap we can decorate with just so it's not so bland. <laughs> Towels? I suppose we could actually just get um, Quinn to paint some stuff. That would probably be cheap. Although, no, to be fair, if we paint a large thing, that costs a hundred bucks. So, hmm. this is $40. Here we go. Let's get one of these. Yeah, so at least when we're looking at that wall, it doesn't look so bland. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to need to do, you are going to need to go to bed. Why is there a pile of trash here? Uh, you need to go to bed. Quinn also needs to go to bed. Rye. It's kind of okay. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, what do I even do? Hunger. Okay, they both need to be fed probably. All right, do you want to go baby care, bottle feed? All right, Willow and Ash. We got to remember which is which. Okay, I'm attempting to bottle feed. All right, here we go. Uh, Sydney, you're kind of in the way right now, but that's cool. You know what also would be, would be nice if <laughs> get it out is a shower because the bath is good for the, the infants and stuff, but the shower is just so much quicker for other Sims to clean. Okay, does anyone else? Hang on. You know what? I got to do the trick on the that I learned in the seven infant challenge. If you control from the infant. You can say, get fed by and just choose a sim and then they will just do it. Which is a lot easier to get their needs cared for that way rather than doing it from the, the perspective of the adult sim for some reason. I don't know, but yeah, that works so much quicker. And um, so you've got Willow. Do we say put Willow down here in a second? Oh, little spit up. That's okay. Aww. Quirk revealed, happy spitter. Willow is prone to spitting up during uh, feeding. Infants will, with a happy spitter quirk, are perfectly normal. Their digestive systems are just still maturing. Okay, as long as there's nothing negative about that, then we're good. All right, can we do tummy time? Tummy time! Get you to learn. So the infant milestones, we can see here. So this is, there's a few different categories. We've got life milestones, social milestones, firsts, gross, and fine motor skills. So this one, learn to reach. So when they're looking at toys on the mat, they can sort of reach up and, and learn how to do that. And then the, uh, the gross motor skills, if we do tummy time, we'll, we'll sort of get to that so they can build the neck strength and lift their head and hold themselves up. Uh, so the more we do that, the quicker it will sort of develop. I mean, I'd like to try and get these milestones done, but how long do we actually have? We've got five days. I don't know how well that's going to go. Now, whilst we're doing that, Quinn really got to do some of these because we need to get those fertility traits. I'm just saying. And those were how much? Three, was it 3,000? Fertile, 3,000. We need to do that for Quinn and for Koji. That's my plan. I, Koji just has to be funny to one more sim when we go to the next level, so we should probably do that. All right, Ash, uh, get carried here by Sydney, please. Oops, kind of forget you can move these in live mode. There we go. Can I do? Uh, I can't. I can't like get them to help me do tummy time. I, that has to be from the adult. Okay. Ah, thanks, Ava. Cleaning up the milk bottle. Look at our house. It's really coming together now. I mean, definitely the most complete room is the nursery, which I feel like makes sense. Oh, poor little Willow's getting frustrated. She can't keep her head up. Hmm. It's like, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> there we go. Yay! All right, actually, Willow, how are you going? You're pretty, they're like half tired, so I might actually put them in the bed. Wait, which one's which? That's Ash. All right. Uh, I wish you could assign the beds. Okay, Willow, you go there. And then how's Ash going? Ash is also kind of tired. All right, get put to bed by, I want to say Forest. There we go. Uh, Ava, leave me alone, please. Uh, Ava, leave me alone, please. Thank you. All right, they're getting put to bed. All right, so Rye, when do you, when do, you get, do your thing? Two days? Um, we need to write jokes and practice music. Oh, no, are you using that computer? You know what? Hang on. Computer security lock for everyone but household. There we go. <laughs> right. No, I got to do right jokes. Korea? No. Oh, Willow is ca a calm infant. Calm infants like to watch the world, are less likely to cry or become angry, and don't grow tired of activities as easily as other infants. Okay, web. No. Uh. Oh, pff, literally that says right jokes. <laughs> I was like looking at all the sub menus trying to find right jokes and it's just right there. Of course, typical. All right, you gonna do that for a bit. 
Uh, I mean, I'm happy to write. You're happy to. Oh, hello, Brianne's calling to chat. Uh, calling Quinn. Well, Quinn's sleeping, so no. Oh, uh. I'm kind of hoping your kids will just go to sleep yourself. Uh, hmm. Can I get soothed by? No. Okay, I have to get one of my sims to do it. All right, who's less tired? Quinn and Rye. Oh, no, you've gone to sleep. Okay, that's fine. Dang it. Hang on. You can go back to writing jokes. Why am I dazed? <laughs> oh, starting to burn out. Starting to feel woozy as his creative muscles are stretched thin. Okay, so when we get dazed is when we're getting burnt out. Okay, so I shouldn't be writing jokes then. What if I just play some games or something? Play some Sims. All right, both babies are sleeping. Quinn, you can go back to bed. Wait, wait, are you going to sleep in the treehouse? Just no, sleep in your, you have a bed. <laughs> All right, how's that going for burnout? Does that help us? Or I guess in that case, for two hours, we need to make sure we don't do creative things, right? So, I mean, I don't have to play games right now. I guess I could do something else. Maybe I'll make some dinner. Let's serve dinner. Let's serve some salad. There you go. That'll do. Probably order like the nursery as well. And probably the whole house again. Whoa, Sydney and Ava. All right, guys. They're like, wow, our great grandchildren are so amazing. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, you're grabbing a book. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's like, don't wake them up. What was that? There was like a little jingle sound. Oh, hey, Addison. You can come join the party. <laughs> do you want to see your grandchildren? Have you ever met them? I, I, I can't recall. Hang on, can I, can I go home? You're already home. What are you doing? Hang on, let me wake up you and then friend uh, active. No, hang on. There we go. Um, oh, I thought I could like show the baby to like Addison, but I don't see an option. Oh no, introduce. There we go. Sorry. There it is. I thought it was show to, I, I guess that's just uh, newborns is show to, but introduce for infants. Here we go. Hey Addison, come check out your new grandchild. Okay, I can't see. Well, I didn't realize. <laughs> was it both wearing yellow? Aww. I feel like Addison is so happy. He's like, oh, it's my grandchild. Aw. First visitor's milestone unlocked. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ash's first visit. Oh, okay. What's the negative thing? Oh, okay. Uh, Ash does not like it. Uh, can I have my child back, please? <laughs> Actually, what, what do you need? You're, you're pretty good. We could probably try and do some tummy time, maybe. Uh, can I have my child back? Uh, can I have my child back? Uh, uh, okay. You could. Just, you don't have to lie on the floor. Yeah, yeah, no, your, your infant's already gone. It's okay. You, you can probably go back to sleep. Koji, you can probably also go to sleep. Okay, you're gonna eat. Let's play. Let's play with Ash. How about that? Uh, Quinn, what are you doing? Go to bed. Aw, look at that. Forrest enjoying the single sleeping bag and... Sydney's just standing there. I don't know how long... I feel like Sydney's been there for a while, but whatever. All right, I'm gonna say, right, you need to go to bed. <laughs> you're so tired. All right, Koji, after you've done that... Yeah, just leave the infant on the floor. That's fine. I'm just gonna go to the toilet. Okay, Ash is actually pretty tired still, so I'm gonna put Ash back to bed. Oh, wrong sim. Mm, I don't know if I need to change diapers. Maybe I'll change diaper first. Hang on, I'm not sure. You know what, we'll just do it for funsies. No, no, don't put Ash to sleep. Do the change diaper. Pretty sure it doesn't need a diaper change, but because the bladder's still kind of up. But it's going down pretty quick. You're looking pretty hungry though, too. Do a little bottle feed. There we are. <laughs> nice little changing table. Oh, do you have like a hearing aid? I didn't know that Koji had that. Yeah, there you go. All right, little feed. All right, and then, yeah, pretty much just tired. So we'll say put to bed. No, don't put Ash down, dang it. What's this? Bottle feed? Yeah, that's fine. No, put Ash to sleep. There we go. Cool. And then by that time, I'm pretty sure Willow's going to be awake because Willow's got almost full energy. So, all right, Quinn, how's Quinn going? I'm trying to, like, manage their sleep schedule so we can sort of do shift work here. Oh, Quirk, re uh, Quirk revealed. Happy spitter. Okay, sp prone to spitting up as well. You know, little Ash and Willow. Not so different after all. All right, do you need to be soothed? There you go. Night, night, little uh, ashy washy. Sleep well. You also got a huge head of hair. That's like so much hair. Okay, that's not really soothing. Uh, bedtime, sorry. Okay, let me also get rid of that um, milk bottle. Once upon a time, there was a pizza deliverer and they were just wandering about in Brychester. And then a beautiful girl came up. Oh, good night. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, uh, Koji wants to go back to bed, which is, you know, fair. Uh, Quinn, I'm gonna get you up real quick. You wanna just quickly get some leftovers. Right, and then Willow. Hungry, pretty full energy, which is good. So what we'll do after you've eaten, I'm gonna say wake up. Or now, no, don't do it now. Don't do it, don't do it now. Don't do it now, finish your bowl. Yeah, get your hunger up first, there we go. <laughs> Sydney, are you okay? I, I'm not actually sure if Sydney's stuck. Let me just reset. <laughs> I'm not sure if Sydney's like stuck in between this chair and the table or something because he's been there for a while. Oh, I'm feeling very uh, self-assured for my self-assured trait. Let's go. All right, we gotta, we gotta speed this up because it's only been a few hours and nothing's really happened yet. Here we go. Yeah, I thought you were gonna wake up. That's all good. Baby care. Uh, we're just gonna go feed. Uh, or not. No, what are you doing? No, I'm feeding my baby. Stop. No, can everyone get out of the way? It's my baby. 
<laughs> Move. Quirk, loves being held. Ooh, okay. So, infants with the loves being held quirk are more likely to direct positively when they're being picked up and carried and upset when they're put down. See, that's not good. The being carried thing is fine, but being upset when they're put down, not great. Speaking of which, we're going to put Willow down right there. We're going to try and do some tummy time. All right, let's try and speed this up a little bit too. Yeah, I know you're not going to like it, but we're going to play together. Look, look, well, let's play for a little bit first and then... Uh, activities, tummy time. All right, let's 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 try some tummy time. Oh, milestone. Uh, Willow started moving her little arms to reach for nearby objects. Sweet. Uh, okay, I don't think we have room to do tummy time here. It seemed like there was a little issue. Hang on, activities, tummy time. Let's see. Let me try again. Oh wait, no, 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 we're good. I, I guess it might have just collided with the, uh... Yay! Kinda hard to see, I'm gonna have to jump in like this. There we go. Okay, you can, I mean, you're doing pretty well, to be honest. Your head is held up pretty well. It's good stuff. Let's go! I can't do it! It's too hard. <laughs> There we go, that's pretty good. Oh wait, we we got we got the lift head milestone. Sweet! Uh Willow just lifted her head for the first time. There's so much to look at. Her caregivers practice tummy time together to unlock new milestones. Uh cool. Alright, how are you actually going? You're kinda of in the toilet, but you're okay at the moment. I'm gonna put uh actually you know what? How do I do the thing when they go on my back? Cause you like being oh, Willow and back her, right? cause you love being held and you're not tired or hungry yet, so I'm just gonna put you on my back. Here you go. Three, two, ah <laughs> yeah! Now mama can go paint and he can still be held. Uh, okay, uh, not. I, I guess you can't do other stuff. Oh, my fridge is broken. Okay, I, I kind of thought that um, you could be on my back while I did other stuff. I guess you can only do it while walking. Uh, wait, what are we doing? Uh, okay, uh, all right. Yeah, no, I'm gonna put you here instead. How's that? Sydney, okay, what's going on over here? There's, I'm pretty sure Sydney's stuck. I'm gonna just clip that in the wall a little bit there. Is that better, Sydney? Okay, what is going on over here? Okay, picking up, putting down, picking up. Putting down. Okay, we're gonna have to just stop that. No, 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 stop. No, no. Okay. I'm gonna let someone else deal with that. <laughs> there you go. Grandpa can get it. Well, great grandpa can get it. All right, let's finish this painting because we need to do that for work anyway. And I also need to uh, get some more money because <laughs> we don't have a lot. Now, how are you actually doing? Milestone's pretty good. Learn to grab and roll over is the next ones. Oh, hang on. Diaper. Diaper alert. Diaper alert. Diaper alert. Get diaper change from Sydney while you're there, please. So I learned if we don't change it quick enough, our hygiene's gonna drop really, really fast. So I think it's good to get it done as quick as possible, which I think also makes sense. I mean, yeah, if you did. Oh, hello, you're awake too. Um, You know what? Get fed by uh, Ava, please. Because mom is painting. Oh wait, I think we're actually done. Sell for 438. You know what? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sell that one. So we get a bit of money. I wanna do some paintings for the kids' room. So what would be like kids' paintings? Classic, impressionism, surrealism. Surrealism would probably be scary. Probably, I guess abstract. Let's do like a small abstract and see what that looks like. All right, Koji, how are you going down there? Actually, you're really good. So what do you got to do for work? Reach writing level three and write a column. All right, well, let's go write a column. Picky eater, okay. Wait, did you not want to eat just then? Is that the problem? Uh, infants with a picky eater quirk are more likely to reject feedings unless they're hungry. Okay, well, that's fine. We don't need to eat right now. And then I guess when we eventually, if we get to the stage of trying to feed them food in the higher chair, they'll be more picky. Right, so, I mean, yeah, you're not that hungry. So that's actually okay. Get carried here, please. You know, we'll, okay, actually, how are you going, by the way? You're kind of, you're, you're pretty okay. Get carried here by Sydney as well. You know what, mom, do you want to go try tummy time with the other baby? See if we can get some head lifting. How your, how's your column going? The whole fam is in the nursery right now. Once you've done that column. Oh, frequently hiccups. Will I seem to hiccup quite frequently? Infants with this quirk have more gas in their tummies and hiccup more frequently. Is that it? Okay, so it's not really anything. Oh, okay, you put the baby back there. I was gonna get um, Koji to put Willow, well, to do tummy time with Willow. Oh, Koo Milestone! <laughs> yeah! Oh, wait, you're sick as well? I'm pretty sure they are, because you got a little medicine thing, and then I think, I kind of forgot that Koji was sick. Hey, poorly decorated, what are you talking about? My house is beautiful! <laughs> well, look, we're working on it. Okay, what's going on over here? Are we doing that? A little bit more tummy time. There you go. All right. Yeah, yeah. I know it's tough. We're trying to wait. Okay. What's going on here? Hang on. Put Willow here, please. No, no. Put Willow on the mat. I mean, they don't have to. Be... No, 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 no. Sydney, Sydney, for being awake too long. Oh, okay. Hang on. What are you doing? Tummy time again? Okay. All right. Fine. Whatever. Lift head milestone. Yeah. Okay. So now you've got it too, which is great. And actually, you're kind of hungry now. I wonder if that's hungry enough to be fed. Let's see. Baby care. Bottle feed. All right. Well, Koji, seeing as you got kind of snubbed out of doing that. Let's get back to writing. We'll just do practice writing. Did we finish our column? Yeah, we did. All right, this baby really is going to go to bed. So. <laughs> Who are you again? Willow. Which one's Willow? God, I'm going to have to try and remember. Okay, this side's Willow. 
<laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I'd ideally like to have them have the same side of the room. Maybe I need to color code their clothes and, and, their, and their cots. Oh, cool. And uh, Ash is being fed now, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna put Ash there. Or oh, just on the floor, sure. Okay. Be like a champ. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a uh thingo, a shower. I'm just gonna get one of these because I can actually put this here. Which I know look realistically is a little silly having a shower just in the middle of the room with no shower screens. But it's handy because I'm pretty sure it doesn't block the tub. I mean we'll find out, but this means I can shower a little bit easier and quicker. How are you going on the floor? Can I ask someone for Wait, what are you doing? Tummy time. Okay, actually, tummy time's good. I was gonna say, can I ask someone for tummy time? I don't think I can ask for it, but I can get someone to help with it. Oh, Quinn's got work in an hour? Okay, hang on, what about you? Two hours, all right. Well, if we can get your writing skill up, no, leave the baby alone. We've got a lot of other people here to take care of it. Also, Rai's got the day off, which is great, because Rai's actually got so much energy. You just had a great night's sleep. Like, you guys are feeling bad for Rai, but to be honest, I think Rai's got the best bedroom there's two babies in the house and three other Sims li living there. Plus my two, there's five adults and two infants in this house. I think Rai has probably got the best place to sleep, to be honest. <laughs> He's got the best end of the deal. Uh, forest? Uh, forest? Uh, Rai? <laughs> I kind of forgot that this shower, so that, that's actually a feature of the shower because obviously it came in university, I think, right? So it's supposed to be used for like shower, like locker rooms where a bunch of Sims would shower together and wouldn't be embarrassed. But it's kind of weird at home when people just walk in when someone's showering. Oh my gosh, okay, you definitely need medicine. Uh, pretty sure you might have caught something from the kids. <laughs> uh, let's get some Let's get some medicine. I'm gonna get two bottles because I'm pretty sure Koji was sick too. Right, you drink that. How's Koji doing? I think Koji's actually okay now maybe. They're just upset from this place being poorly decorated. Ah, there we go. Is that better? Yeah, cool. All right, you're pretty tired, but you gotta go to work in a minute, uh, as is probably the way. Uh, can I get put to bed? Put to bed by Ava. All right. Now, I'm gonna need to repair this fridge. So I'm gonna get Rai to try and repair it. Oh, riding level three. Fantastic. Okay, and yeah, you go to work today. Uh, Quinn. Probably should get Quinn to quit her job. Because I do want her to be at home with the kids. Maybe when they're toddlers, because... Oh, or, no, maybe when the family leaves, which I think... Oh, is today their last day? So they're going to leave. So maybe then we'll uh, quit our job. Because I didn't actually really want her to be working. We only did that because we needed money for the house. But she'll go today. We'll get a bit of money. Uh, we might even get promoted if we work hard. Let's try and get promoted and, and get that boost. Because, like, why not, you know? Okay, can someone soothe the kid to sleep, please? Help. Like, bedtime story or, like, a lullaby or anything. You know, anything for- yeah, yeah, you can just stand there. And you guys wonder why I don't want Forrest- Ew, he stinks too. Why I don't want Forrest moving in with us. <laughs> how's that- how's that fridge going? It's so bad. Yeah, let me just shove a screwdriver in there, that'll work. You can probably stop writing now, actually. You're good. And take a quick shower before work. Help the kid go to sleep, dude! Oh gosh, okay. Yep, yep. Alright, uh... He got so close to fixing that. I don't know if you guys saw that. We were like nearly done. And uh, it's like, okay, I'm just gonna grab a bowl of cereal. Yeah, Forrest, don't worry about that, to be honest. It, it's gonna keep leaking. It's fine. <laughs> All right, Koji's off to work as well. Koji, work hard. Let's get those double promotions today. Let's go. Oh, Forrest is trying to fix it now. Okay, you know what? Go for it. All right, you guys, uh, I think they're good for a while because they'll be sleeping for a while. So that's all good. We'll just sort of leave them by themselves. You know, we have a dishwasher. Why do you always use the sink? And the sink is disgusting too. Clean up. Oh, wait, I can clean the kids in the sink? Oh. I didn't even need a bath. I guess it probably doesn't look as cute as you in the bathtub. All right, no, I need to clean the sink. Have a little shower. How's your burnout going, by the way? I think we avoided the burnout, which is good. Uh, you do need to have some fun, so why don't we just play a little bit of games? Yeah, you're you're a little. He, he's still smoking a little bit from the electricity, but that's all good. That that'll go away. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Playing games is not that fun, apparently. I can't. I swear it used to be more fun than this. You know what? What am I doing? I have a bike. Why don't I just cycle? Wait, who's got my bike? Is it Quinn? Oh. Quinn took the bike to work! <laughs> Dang it. All right, that's fine. All right, that's good enough. Can we can we write some jokes? <laughs> I just need to do that. I'm not actually- Oh! Diaper, 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 diaper. Uh, who are you? Ash. Okay. Change Ash's diaper. Uh, change Ash- Check. You know what? I probably have to wake him up first. Uh, what happened to- Why does my door keep disappearing? I, it's there and it still works, but it, it's kind of annoying that it keeps, like, disappearing from there. All right. Wake Ash up and then change Ash's diaper. There we go. You know, oh, we should probably give you your first bath just for funsies. You don't really need it. Your energy is still I don't, energy. <laughs> yeah, your hygiene's still good. But you know what? I also need to make sure this works. I'm not actually sure if I've blocked it up. Yeah, you got this. You got this. It's all good. There you go. Oh, dirty dirty. No. All right. Let's see if I can do bubble bath because if we do bubble bath, we get two milestones. We get first bath and first bubble bath. So let's do it. Okay. It looks like it's working. So that's good. Yeah. So we can have the shower there, which like I said, is a little awkward. 
but it'll do for now. That's the space we've got. That's what we're gonna work with. Oh, I love the little chair they sit up in. It's so cute. Got like the freezer bunny, like sponge as well. What a good uncle. Ooh, rubber ducky. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get that bath going. Hello, who's calling me? Brianne, congratulations on promotion at work. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, how are you doing? You're kind of hungry now, actually. So let's go go here and let's feed in the nursery. No, 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 don't, don't, you don't need to put them down all the time. <laughs> there you go. Oh, baby's awake. You're also hungry. Awake and angry. Yeah, 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 that's okay. Yeah, yeah, chill. Uh, okay. Wait, where's everyone else? Do they leave? No, they're still here. I think they went to work is the thing. Sydney's here. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Get fed by Sydney. Parenting level two. Wait, what level, what level is Quinn? Because Quinn's, Quinn is still parenting level one. Rye is higher. Okay, Quinn needs to quit her job because this is like her whole thing. She just wants to be a parent. <laughs> But Rai is being more of a parent because he's here. <laughs> so we should probably sort that out. All right, Ash. What, how's Ash doing? Ash is tired. So I'm going to put Ash back to bed. Play, wait, I'm going to put Ash in the bed. Activities. Watch Willow. Wait, what? Ash. Wait, what? Put, why can't I put... Sydney! <laughs> That's why I can't put Ash in there. What are you doing? No. That's not... First of all, that's not Willow's crib. <laughs> Hang on. This is all wrong. Okay. What? What? Okay. Rye, feed them. Okay, Sydney, what are you doing? If you're not gonna feed my baby, get out of the way. No, no, wake up. Good lord. Okay, this is getting annoying. Feed, feed the baby. Okay, Sydney! Okay, move out of the way then. Okay, there we go. You feed. No, no. Okay, I was trying. Okay, uh, feed please. Thank you. Okay, this child's falling asleep on the ground now. Sydney, can you put this baby away? Sydney! <laughs> Dang it, Sydney! Sydney is really not helping right now. Oh, wait, don't use diaper. I didn't, oh, didn't mean to click that. All right. <laughs> Get, okay, Sydney, give me a diaper change then. Okay, that one works. <laughs> Put Willow to sleep. Okay, this is... <laughs> no! Pee on care, give a milestone. Let's go! Well, we're gonna need a milestone. That's good. Okay, there we go. Now... Jeez. <laughs> is that the right... Am I in the right crib? Willow. No! I'm not even... Wait, they weren't in the right cribs before. All right, we need to color code these. Here's what we're gonna do. So this was... Who's this? Ash. Ash is gonna be ash. Like orange. Orange ash. And then... Willow is going to be green because like a tree. All right. Then I'm just going to go modify and cast this way. All right. Willow, you're green. So we're going to do that. How many how many categories of clothes do we have, by the way? Oh, that's a lot of clothes. All right. It's okay. Uh, Which, what are we wearing right now? Oh, do we have a full body? Well, there's a lot of full bodies. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Green. But frog. That's cute. Okay. That's every day. And again, green. Probably never going to see formal wear, but there you go. Nighttime. Sleepy sleep. I want it to be like, these are green, but I feel like it's not green enough. You know, like I need to really know it's green. <laughs> party wear. Yeah, we're definitely going to see party wear. So let's do that. There you go. Green duck. Hot weather wear. Green overalls. And cold weather wear. Green that thing. Awesome. All right. Ash, you're orange. Are you wearing full clothes too? I think so. Okay. Orange. Orange suit. Orange sleep thing. Orange that thing. No orange hot weather wear. In well, that's full body, I guess. Hang on. Orange shirt, and then the pants are fine. Orange cold weather. There we go. All right, so we have green and orange. I'm still gonna get them wrong. I know. I know. Okay. See, look. And now I know you're supposed to be in the other one. That makes sense to me. All right. So you pick up. Uh, how do, how do I just pick you up? Actions. No. So, uh, baby care. Pick up. All right. There we go. Put Willow to sleep here. Now you get put to bed by Sydney. See, look at that. Isn't that easy? Orange, green. Beautiful. Ashes are growing infant must rely on caregivers and other older sims to help uh, care for him. No more. No, we're good. We don't need to do that. All right, Ry how's Rye going? Rye's been a real trooper. Rye's a little hungry. How's that? Oh, the fridge is fixed. Yeah. All right, let's get some more salad. I don't know why we have a pile of trash on the floor, to be honest. I, I, I'm not sure why that's never been put in the bin. Uh, Sydney, do you want to take care of that? I'm busy right now, so. Oh, there we go. They're not crying. We're good. There we go. Okay, you're asleep. Okay, guys, we can you can leave the nursery if they're asleep. Oh, you're emptying the bin. That's okay. All right, how's... um? Oh my gosh, Quinn has got no... En we need a better bed because so we can get more energy too. Dang it, we're not even going to get promoted. The good news is Koji will get promoted. So that's great. Okay. You can, you can put these away, right? You don't have to put them on the floor. <laughs> Like, you can get rid of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got promoted for Koji and we get to choose the branch, which we're going to do food critic because as a pizza deliverer, that's all Koji ever wanted was just to become a food critic, apparently. So that's what we're going to do. If you don't love it, they won't eat it. $49 an hour. Don't mind if I do. Uh, oh, overachiever. No, I don't really want that trait to be honest. I'm going to click, click no on that. Rise clumsy. Send to fail. Did you just drop the bowl again? Is that what happened? Uh, Quinn made 208 football team. 
They're promoted to Chow Chaser. Oh, I love Chow Chows. Our dog is a Chow Chow. Not that that's what that's talking about, but that's what I think of. So we've got a bonus of 438, spare utensils, wall plaque, review food and drink. Okay, we've got something we can sell. That's all that matters. Um, Koji has declined a self-discovery trait my man. He didn't feel like it was the right fit for him at this time. That's okay. Might discover a new one in the future. Young adults, adults and elders are able to embrace up to three self-discovery traits. And then of course we can swap them out too. All right, so Quinn, I... You know what? I think it's time. We're going to quit the job because I would, I kind of, your whole thing is to be a parent and we're not even doing that right now. So we should probably quit that job. You know, we've got, we've got some nice money. We've got a thousand dollars. Koji's doing pretty well too. Look, reach level three cooking skill. Oh, okay. Um, probably it would be nice to have a good kitchen. Now I would like to, I want to get a second level on this house. I know that sounds a little silly at this point, but like I've said, I want Rai to live in the alcove. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I really should show you guys. So first up, an alcove, a recess in the wall of a room or garden. And here's some images that you can see. It's just sort of like a little cutout that's like behind in the wall. This one's kind of a good example. It's just like sort of set back. Specifically in full house, the alcove is this bit here. So the stairs sort of go up and over and then it's just underneath and there's a window there. And they turn that into the uncle's bedroom for the first part of the show. Because uh, that's the only space I have. So I kind of want to do that. This is kind of what I want to do. Obviously, we can't afford to do this, but let's try. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to need taller walls over this. Well, first of all, can I even afford... Because the most the most expensive thing here is going to be building the second level. Like, it's not even the stairs. It's just getting a room up the top. Like, if I want to build the same amount... Oh, yeah. Like, it's $2,000 just to do that. Oh, okay. Uh, we could get something like this, but that's like all of our money. All right, we're not going to do that right now. Let's do, I, I do want to do that, but let's get the outside, maybe a paint job. How about that? What do, what do the rest of the houses look like around here? They got sort of shingles, wood uh, paneling, yeah, wood siding, that kind of thing. How about we do like a little combo, a little wombo combo, something like that. I mean, it doesn't look very good, but I feel like it's better than what it was, right? <laughs> Right? And let's get some columns out the front. You know, and I also want to put this house on, actually, you know what? I want to use bricks. So it's not the new columns, but I like these. And I want to put this on foundation because I think just having stairs will make it look so much nicer. And I'm going to actually, whoops, I'm going to actually shift this house back just so I can fit the stairs in properly. And then this foundation has to be brick just to match the, uh, those columns. Like so. Okay. <laughs> it, look, it's not good. Is it better than what it was? Yes. Problem is now because our roof trim doesn't, I have to make this wider, otherwise the columns look silly. But then the side, maybe, can I can I afford to expand the house? I can. There was also a really good comment that I should be taking photos of our house as it goes, and we can have like a whole like photograph wall. Uh, but obviously I have not taken the photo of the first house, which is this, so maybe we should actually do that. How much, oh no, the good cameras are so expensive. Can I get, you know what, let's get Brianne to visit. Let's get Auntie Brianne to come here with a camera and tripod, get a photo of the house, and we can document the house's expansion. Oh no! At the moment, I'm pretty sure there's a bug that if I swap households, all our milestones reset. So we might have just lost all the milestones we earned for the infants. Maybe my game doesn't have that bug. <laughs> all right, so Brienne has a camera and tripod just here. So yeah, this is Brienne. Oh, I think I need to just go put an inventory. This is Brienne from our last Let's Play series. If you missed it, uh, she became a fashion photographer. And this is her studio that we built up in the last uh, series, which is pretty cool. She lives with her husband, uh, Ranch, who's up here. Super. If you're wondering why they're really, really ripped, both him and her, we cl we climbed to the top of Mount um, Komarebi just before. We have some photos of it. So. <laughs> Hang on, where are they? We put them. On, we put the good ones on the wall. Here, the, here they are. Look, we got all these nice photos of them climbing the mountain together. I mean, that's pretty fun, isn't it? So that, that's why they're super ripped at the moment. <laughs> uh, all right, Brianne, we're gonna go take a photo. Oh, it's like 5 p.m., not a good time. And it's also it's raining over there. We're gonna try and do it anyway. I'm kind of also wondering if I could just leave the tripod in the same spot. Like, if I put a tripod over here, will it stay here? Because I just want to get the same angle every time. So I'm gonna say go here. And I have to say place and world for this. I think it will disappear if I leave those, the problem. Let's try and keep it, let, let's try and remember that in this grass patch, it's pretty much the middle tile. That's where we're putting it. I'm pretty sure it's also facing the wrong way, but it's like facing that way, but we, we can figure it out. All right, take picture. Um, Forrest, can you like move? I didn't ruin my photo, but okay. All right, so, oh, I can't, <laughs> can't really t turn to get the house enough. Okay, this photo is not going to be great. I I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. I don't think this is going to look very good. But you know, it's the first photo of our house. 
And I think that's beautiful. If we do Brighton, it actually looks a bit better. So let's go, I'm gonna do a large photo. I'm gonna do a medium photo and a small photo because I'm not actually sure which one I'm gonna want. So that should be good. Okay, so I just gotta leave it on their house now. <laughs> actually, I might gift it to them. Hang on, knock on door. So they technically own them. Hey guys, just another family member coming. Oh no, the infants are all over the place. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna gift it to, oh, I don't know you guys. Oh, that's right, because I couldn't, oh, I forgot. Because because Brianne is a, <laughs> a, a celebrity, we can't, Ray, uh, I'm getting the names a little confused. Koji wasn't able to actually meet Brianne. So now I can actually get them to talk to each other, which is nice. Hey guys, I'm just coming to join the room with everybody else. Hey Koji, sorry I didn't say hi to you at the baby shower. I just kind of felt like I was better than you at the time. Yeah. Look, now we're good friends. Look at that, isn't that nice? All right, friendly, uh, let's give gift. Uh, affection, give gift, here we go. Fair, friendly gift. Uh, oh, can I not shoot? Oh, I can't choose. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna do it that way. <laughs> I'm just gonna drag it onto your wall. All right, I'm gonna put one there, put one there, and one there. And then we'll we'll figure it out later. All right, thanks, Brianne. Oh no, <laughs> Brianne lost her celebrity level, which actually, to be fair, is gonna be easier to get to talk to her, but still, <laughs> dang it. All right, so we got these photos, which I am going to just, I think I'm gonna use the medium one. Apparently I can't move them. Is it because I don't own them? I can sell them, I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna put that into household inventory and I'm gonna keep this medium one. Let's just go in the living room for now. And I'll just put that in my inventory too. We'll keep all the different sizes so we can figure them out later. All right, add frame, go white. That's nice, isn't it? I mean, it's a very dark photo, but whatever. <laughs> we did. We did our best. All right, what was I doing? I was making the house look nice. Let, let me go back to what we had. Oh, the tripod is still there. Hey, I wonder if I can take photos of the house myself because that would be a lot easier. Okay, so I'm gonna do the extension on this side of the house because that doesn't, extending is actually not that expensive. It's when we sort of start modifying stuff more. Uh, so it means our porch doesn't really centrally line up with that part of the house, but I could extend this bit uh, and then extend all that. Obviously I have to fix all the items because I think some stuff's got messed up a bit. But yeah, so if I extend that side of the house a little bit, I mean, so the living room is bigger, the bedrooms aren't. I mean, I guess I could actually make these rooms a little bit bigger. So if I just move this wall for the kitchen back to where it was, because yeah, the bedrooms are pretty small. Okay, can't find objects. Uh, I think it's these mats because they're not really objects. I mean, they are, but they, they sort of disappear and appear. Okay, let me do it like this. So eventually we'll do a door to the kids room there. I mean, I guess I could do it now but, and we'll keep this nursery door as well. So this room is still bigger because we went one further this way. The ge that guest room is much bigger now too. This is a little awkward again. You know, this is all changing over time. This is also very awkward. A again, we're changing over time. I mean, that could be potentially we can move the computer at least for now into that spot because it's a bit weird. It just means the front of the house looks a bit better. <laughs> The inside, not so much, but it makes the outside look better. All right, what do we do with the rest of this thing? Because the rest of it's kind of shocking too. I don't even have enough money to do this, do I? Oh, wait a second. We got, uh, oh, wait, didn't, hang on. <laughs> got $7 left. First of all, we have, pretty sure you should have something we can sell. Here we go. 200 bucks. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Selling your achievements just so we can get enough wallpaper. Yeah, I like the idea of this being a uh, siding here, but it kind of, at the moment, it just sort of changes on that back wall, which, I mean, I guess it's fine. It's gonna go with that. Yeah, that, that's fine. And then just a darker roof is nicer. Yeah, I mean, it looks better than an empty box, that's for sure. <laughs> it looks much better than before. I'm gonna get this free, whoops, this free, whoop, this free flooring just there. Doesn't cost me anything. I wouldn't mind like a light on the front porch because it is very dark. Hmm. The lights I want to use are pretty expensive, so we should probably, and the other ones are pretty dark. Could just use a spotlight for now because it's like <laughs> really good. And it's not ideal, but it doesn't look as nice, but we'll just do that. It, it lights it all up for us. Okay, uh, the bathroom, let's just maybe rearrange that a little bit. I guess we could put the shower in the corner now. It makes more sense. Oh, I guess it should be the other corner, hang on. Uh, this bathroom's kind of weird actually. Hang on, I <laughs> guess that could... <laughs> Okay, this is also bad. <laughs> The toilet's like right by the door. The sink is over there. You know what? It's fine for now. All right, what's going on with these kids? Because I, I let, uh, actually, first of all, do we still have our milestones? Uh, it looks like we do. So I guess some people have had that bug. It seems like our milestones are still there, which is good because I was a little worried about that. Maybe if you play another family and earn milestones there, maybe that's when it bugs out. And seeing as we didn't do that, it's okay. I have no idea if that's how it works, but apparently. All right, where are you? You're here. You need to go to bed. You're orange. So get put to bed by uh, Koji, please. And then you haven't had a bath or anything. You don't really need one, but I'm actually going to get Quinn to give... Oh, or not. Can I not give the toddlers... I mean, the infants a bath anymore? Hang on. Pick up. <laughs> yeah, Forrest is like, yeah, Brienne! 
All right, let me see. Quinn is exhausted. <laughs> very, very exhausted. But is it possible? Here we go. Give Willow a bubble bath. Likes video gaming? Sure, Rai can like video gaming. Don't worry. One day, Rai, you're going to be living in the alcove and it's going to be a beautiful thing. All right, Koji, do you want to... Uh... Oh, parenting level two. Fantastic. Do you want to tell a bedtime story? There you go. Once upon a time... Oh, actually, hang on. Can you... Are you able to take a photo? Oh, you can. Fantastic. Problem is these guys are all out the front of the house now. Okay, I'm gonna... And also it's getting dark. Okay, well, apparently that's staying there. So maybe we'll wait till tomorrow and we can take a photo. <laughs> all right, Koji, how are you going? What do you got to do? Reach cooking level three. That's right. Okay, do you want to serve a dinner? May as well, because we're going to need food. Vegetable dumplings. Get on it. Lifestyle gain. Quinn has unlocked the people person lifestyle. Okay, how's this? Baby doing? They're pretty good, actually. Okay, Quinn is about to literally pass out though, so you you have to go to bed. <laughs> you, I, I want to play with the kid, but I, I can't. Wait, where'd you go? I thought you were supposed to be making food. Oh, you put it over here? I think, oh, because I guess the counter was taken up. Okay, guys, Quinn is actually sleeping in the room right now. If everyone could, like, leave, that'd be great. <laughs> Right, never mind. Yeah. Do you want to go play with Willow maybe? That'll be nice. That's probably more fun actually. Let's actually see. Uh, okay, playing with an infant is not fun. <laughs> I mean, look, it's tough work, but surely it's a, like a little fun. Not not even a little. Like, really? Like, not, not even a smidge. Okay. Guys, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Quinn is literally sleeping and they're sitting on the bed talking. <laughs> Alright, let's try some tummy time. Maybe tummy time's fun. Okay, you've made some vegetable dumplings. Do you want to make sure you put away the leftovers? Put away so we have those. Okay. Okay, what's going on here? Tummy time, please. There you go. Okay, you guys have woken up this other child too, by the way. Right, get fed by because you're hungry. There you go. Little feed. And then you actually need to go back to sleep. So let's get back to sleep. <laughs> Alright, you can do it. You can roll over. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, yes, you did. Sweet. We got the rollover. Fantastic. All right. Wow. You got to go to the toilet. You need to feed. You need a lot of things. All right. So I'm going to say get fed by Rai because Rai is right there. You can have a shower maybe. And then I would say go to bed, but they're sitting on the bed. So, um, hello. Is anyone going to take care of this kid? Oh, okay. They're falling asleep. Uh, uh, I'm showering at the moment. Hey, I'm just, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Yep. And now he's getting out. Okay. Okay. I would like to go to bed if you guys wanted to like give me some space here. All right, put Willow to sleep as well. There you go. All right, there you go. And you can go to sleep. <laughs> I should get going now. Okay, Bree is off. Oh, they're leaving. No. Well, good, but also no, because they were the help I needed. Well, you know what? I'm not actually sure that they were that helpful, to be honest. Like, yeah, there were moments where it was useful, but a lot of the time it was kind of rough. Uh, so they're off. They are off. Uh, Forrest? Uh, Forrest? Are you gonna leave my house or... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I do like that they... I love the little suitcase thing. That's really fun. Alright, you wanna go sleep in your tree house? Alright, alright. So it's just us and the babies now. But we got a bit... The house is bigger! $84 to our name. We're still struggling for money, but... Whoop! Ryan almost slipped over. But we should... Oh, well, apple tree's growing. Sweet. But we should actually be on the path to... Hello? Okay, someone left and someone new shown up. Yeah, we should be on the path to success because Koji's got promoted again. We're in the food critic branch now. Quinn has left a job, but we'll keep doing some more painting to get a bit more money that way. Um, the kids uh, are now infants. Well, oh, we got we got to work on those lifetime satisfaction points to get the fertility. We gotta we gotta get triplets in this let's play. I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but we're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna keep having babies until we have triplets. Whether that means we're having 100 babies or not, I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna do it. Nah, I'm not gonna commit to 100 babies. Maybe, maybe not that many, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. We'll be back next time with finally living alone. No more no more grandparents or uncle helping us out. Well, Uncle Rise obviously helping us out. But, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.